Who is Helen Keller? He is a famous American social activist. Helen Keller, overcoming his physical defects with tremendous steel determination. Not only did he successfully complete his university studies but also because of his fluent in foreign discussions to master five languages and write 14 classical works. He has created a miracle in the history of mankind. Helen Keller was born with the full name Helen Adams Keller, born in Tuscumbia, Alabama, June 27, 1880. Helen Keller was born as a healthy and active daughter. But a high fever when he was one year old made him lose his vision and hearing. Since then he fell into the world of darkness and silence. Thus, he has lost his ability to speak and cannot express his feelings. Helen Keller keeps trying to talk, but no one can understand it including his own parents. This makes it often rampage by throwing away all the objects around it. His parents, especially the mother, were very sad to see the suffering of their daughter. Keller's pain and suffering was completely unspoken. No matter how hard he tried, he could not free himself from his dark world. When he was seven years old, his parents recruited a teacher who could guide him named Anne Sullivan. This supervisor had experienced something similar to Helen Keller when he was 14 years old. Then Anne went to a special school for disabled people. Anne, who was initially blind, got her vision back after undergoing surgery. That experience triggered him to study hard and become a very good teacher. He could understand Keller's suffering. Sullivan began to correct Keller's bad habits. Every time Keller went berserk, Sullivan just kept quiet until Keller calmed down. Sullivan gave Keller a doll and spelled the word B-O-N-E-K-A in Keller's hands. Keller was fascinated and changed to his palm in Sullivan's palm. That was the beginning of the Keller learning process. From then on Sullivan always spelled the names of objects in Keller's palm. Helen Keller is very happy. He quickly grasped what Sullivan taught him. Sullivan then teaches Keller braille letters, letters for the blind. Keller began reading books like Snow White and the Seven Dwarf and Little Ugly Duckling with the Braille system. Helen gradually began to get to know the outside world. Helen Keller then went to an extraordinary school. There he learned to use sign language to communicate with his friends. With his fingers he studied various topics such as mathematics, geography, history, biology and also learning foreign languages. Keller often spends his time studying in the school library to better hone his knowledge. Helen Keller has one more desire that has not yet been realized that she wants to be able to talk. Helen was not mute, only because since she was a child she could not hear and see, 
She also could not imitate the voices of people. Keller then conveyed his wish to Sullivan. This is a tough task for Sullivan, but he believes Helen can achieve it. Sullivan then brought Helen Keller to find a woman who was an expert in training deaf mute students to talk. The woman then held Helen's hand and placed it on her jaw and throat and began to make a sound. The learning process is very slow and difficult. He wants Keller to imitate him by using his hands to adjust his teeth and tongue correctly in order to produce the right sound. Keller tries very hard to produce the right sound. Often he sweats only trying to produce the right sound even for simple words. The figure of Helen Keller is very worthy of being seen as a special and great person in the eyes of the world. The reason is, he has been able to carve sharing achievements in the midst of all its limitations, namely blind and deaf since childhood. But Helen's parents are not desperate to educate his daughter. Helen is guided by Anne Sullivan to learn sign language and braille. Helen also learned to deepen her very limited speaking ability. Various efforts to go beyond the limits she had finally had paid off. He managed to become an activist and lecturer for children who have physical limitations like himself. In fact, he also won the Presidential Medal of Freedom Award which is the highest civil award in the United States. Even though Helen Keller is gone, the contribution of her thoughts and figures that inspire many people still has a big influence to this day. We can also be inspired by the woman born June 27, 1880 through the words of life motivation from Helen Keller.